Hey everybody, it's Ethan from Cloud Coach, and this week I want to talk about website navigation and search boxes. So there's a really great post on Derek Halpern's blog, Social Triggers, where he talks about why you should probably remove the search box from your website. And um, really the reason that you want to do that is because when you have a website with less than, say, 50 blog posts, if someone goes and searches for a keyword on your website, they're likely going to be disappointed. And you really would rather be... Um, kind of curating the content on your website for your audience, showing them the things that you want to show them in the way that will make the most impact. And so that's what I've done on my website, Cloud Coach. But um, I recognize that there are a lot of times when you need to find something on a website and they don't provide a search bar. So I wanted to teach you a little trick about how to do that. And so for my example, um, we're going to go to... Um, a tiny house company called Tumbleweed Houses. So their website's tumbleweedhouses.com. Uh, they sell plans and um, other cool tiny house-related things. And um, I'm going to be building um, a similar house um, this summer, so that's why I've been at this website a lot. And, you know, their blog is really helpful. It's got a lot of great how-to articles, but, um, you know, I found that it was difficult to, to find things that I needed. So, Here's the trick that you need to know. So go ahead and copy the website address and go back to Google. And you're going to type that website address into Google. But before you hit enter, before the website address, type site colon. So you're telling Google that you only want to do a search on the URL that you put in. Now you hit a space and you can type in the keyword that you want to search for. So I'm going to search for the term trailer because I'm going to be building my tiny house on a trailer. And now we're seeing all the search results from this very website that has the word trailer listed on it. Um, in addition, we can, we can search for images. So these are images on the Tumbleweed website that um, have uh, maybe trailer in the meta tag or something. And so that's really all there is to this. Um, it's really, really useful. So again, the trick is that you type in site, colon, and then you type in the website address. You could type in copyblogger.com, and then we could put in a keyword like headlines. And then I'll want to switch it back to everything. And so once again, we're seeing search results um, just from copy blogger that have the word headlines in it. Um, this works a lot better than the search bars that are usually built into websites because Google is a better search engine than whatever is built into WordPress or whatever is built into the website platform that people are using. So um, once again, it's site, colon, the address, and then your keyword. And that is it. It's really easy, and I encourage you, next time you're looking for something on a website, give that a try, and you're going to be much more likely to find it. Thanks for watching.